In this tutorial, we will learn about CSS padding. In simple words, padding adds an extra space inside your element. That is, it makes the element look fat. You don't believe me? See for yourself. Here we have a simple div tag with a style class thin added to it. We also have provided some basic styling to the thin class. Inside the div tag, we can see a paragraph tag with white background so that we get an idea about the area occupied by the paragraph tag. Now let's add some padding to the thin class to see how it changes the div tag. Oh, first let's change the name of the class from thin to fat. Now let's add the padding property to the fat class. This is padding, the extra space added. So now you know what padding is. It is the extra space added inside the element from the boundary side, from outside towards inside. Just like margin, we can add padding to an element by adding padding property to it and specifying a single value or two values or three values or even four values. The limit is four. You cannot go beyond that. So now let's see how we can provide these multiple values to the padding property. Let's add 10 pixel to the existing value. Now this 10 pixel is the space from the top and the bottom and the 40 pixel is the space from left and the right side. Similarly, when we provide three values, let's add one more value to this, say 80 pixel. A value of 10 pixel, 80 pixel and 40 pixel means the 10 pixel extra space is added on the top, 80 pixel extra space is added on the left side and the right side, and 40 pixel space is added on the bottom. Similarly, when we provide four values, let's add one more value to this. Now this 10 pixel is the space on the top side, this 80 pixel is the space on the right side, this 40 pixel is the extra space on the bottom and this 5 pixel is the space on the left side. If you want to provide padding on just one side, that is either top, bottom, right or left, that is also very easy to do. Just add a hyphen and the name of the side where you want the extra space to appear. Let's say left and we can see an extra space of 40 pixel added on the left side. Similarly, we can do it for the other side as well. If you change it to right, we see that an extra space is added on the right side. Similarly, for the top and for the bottom. See how simple it was. 